Hi, welcome to another video. So, OpenAI's open model is just around the corner. The new OpenAI model is supposed to be coming super soon. The recent Horizon Alpha model is supposed to be the same model. It is performing really well. And although it didn't have the reasoning capabilities at first in the Horizon Alpha variant, recently the Horizon Alpha variant can also reason which increases its performance even more. However, something kind of wild happened just now, and the OpenAI open source model was leaked on Hugging Face. Yes, so multiple new GPT OSS models appeared on Hugging Face and then were quickly taken down. These models are a 120B model and a 20B model. Not a lot of people were able to see them but those who did have shared screenshots and some details. The person who accidentally leaked these models is supposedly from OpenAI. Anyway, the details we have hint that it is going to be a 120B model, which will be the biggest one that you can potentially run with a cluster of H100S or on a MacBook with 128 gigs of RAM, which is kind of good. But most people won't be able to run it. And just to be clear, Sam Altman had said that it will be an O3 level model that can be run locally, which this can be, because it can technically be run on a MacBook, which is cool. You can think of this like the GLM 4.5 Air model, which is actually a great model if you ask me. Though, I'm a lot more excited for the 20B model, because that is a real model that most of us can run locally. It is a model that can easily be run locally, but I don't think that it will have any breakthrough performance either. Because I was impressed with the 120B model a lot, but considering that it is a 120B model, I'm not that impressed, because if you have used GLM Air, then the performance is similar. I think that the 120B model will be a mixture of experts as well, and the 20B model might be simple and not an MOE. However, we'll see about that. So, yeah, I hope that the performance of the model turns out good, because in the last few weeks, we have got some awesome models like GLM, Quen, and Kimi. GLM Air will probably be a direct competitor to this model. I like the GLM Air model a lot. I actually like it more than the original GLM, because it is faster, and can be run locally. So, I hope this model is a good one, because although it seems good on paper, it is not as good at all times when you see the whole picture of the model. This will probably be one of the very few open source models that we'll see coming from the US, because most of the US and European companies make the models closed source, while China has been the frontier of open source models these days. So, it will be kind of cool to see how these new releases pan out. This model is supposedly going to be a mixture of experts model with about a total of 128 experts, and the active experts at a given time would be about four, meaning that it is almost an expert per parameter, as well as there would be about four billion active parameters at one point, which is great. It is similar to the Quen 3 Coder Flash model, which also activates about 4 billion parameters at a given point. The 20B model will most probably be a dense model and not a mixture of experts. These models are also most probably not going to be multimodal either. These models might be trained with Float 4 on Blackwell chips. From the leak so far, it seems that it might have about a 128K context window, though it might be 256K based on what we had seen as Horizon Alpha on Open Router. There's not much info about whether it is going to be a reasoning model or a non-reasoning model. Most probably, it will be a hybrid thinking model, since that is something that we have seen in the Horizon Alpha model as well, and that works well with reasoning. But before proceeding, 
Let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 4 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.5 Pro. All in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, back to the video. So, it is still unclear if the model here is going to be Horizon Alpha or something else, which will be kind of cool to see if this model comes out as Horizon Alpha or not. That's it about this model. I hope OpenAI gives us an awesome, open-source model. If this is the Horizon Alpha model with reasoning, then I'd be super happy for sure. But if it isn't, then I'd be a bit disappointed. However, it is not something out of this world yet, like Sam Altman and the people were hyping it to be. To be very honest, I was expecting it to be like a 32B model because it was supposed to be a model that can run locally. But a 120B is not something that we can run locally. They were hyping it to be so good that it is a breakthrough, which it isn't, meaning that we will most probably not see a lot of worth out of these models and might be better off with models that are already existing. Like recently, the Quen 3 Coder Flash 32B model was launched which is supposed to be one of the best models available yet for local coding, and it surely is. But we'll see what the 20B model is good at. I think if they make focused models at specific stuff, then the smaller models can be awesome. For example, the overall Quen model isn't as great as the coder model for most of the coder guys. But for writing, the new OpenAI open source models can be great. So. We'll see about that. Let's see what new models come out and how good or bad they turn out to be. I am pretty excited for the open model rather than the GPT-5 model as of now. So we'll see about that. That is majorly about it. I was seeing the stuff about it and thought to tell you guys about all the details of this model as well. I am pretty stoked for these new gen models and the final open source model by OpenAI, which has been hinted at a lot. Mostly, their models underperform a lot. Let me know what you guys think about this stuff as well. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!